Hello, this is the second tutorial on the WebPlus X5 panels. The first tutorial was for the login access control and the second one is for the contact form panel. So first we need to put a button on the page named contact and then we need a, a uh, contact form. Now I have saved contact forms in my designs here which you could do quite easily. There we go. And you see this one's got the, the circle across which will close this control panel, this panel. And the idea of this panel is panel 1. And we'll change that to form. OK. Right click on the contact button, actions. I'll just delete that one. And then we'll add a new one, visibility on. See, there's two panels on the page, so there's two in the list. So I'll choose form. And then we'll show click. And then hide when clicked elsewhere. OK. I've put this contact pay, uh, form and the button at the moment. It's on my home page. Um, what you can do is to put it on a, a, a master page, obviously. But what you've got to watch is uh, the order in which the master page is in relation to the the contents. I will come to the, that again uh, in a minute, but we'll just show how this how this works. So if we uh, if we select the panel and hide, there's the green circle again, and we. Preview. Click contact. The form comes up. So that's OK, isn't it? That works. So that's the, the basics of, of the panel, of having a panel with an object on being controlled by a button or a graphic to make it visible, hide it. So you can you can do quite a lot with this. It it can be a bit of fun trying to find out what you can do with it. Now for the contact forms on as you see here if I click the contact form the text is behind the form. Now, if I come out of the preview, select and copy delete those, go to master page A, and paste in place. So we've got master page A, if we go to properties, background, we have the contents above master page A. Okay, there. Preview this again. So remember the contents is on top in order of the form. If you click the form, you'll notice that the text is above the form. 
So what I have found best to do is master page A, delete those. Now what I've done, I've got the same thing on another master page. And if I go to the properties, properties, on the home page, for instance, I can select to use the master page, C, and then I can put master page C on top of the contents. So when I operate the button and the form shows, it will be above the contents. OK. There's the button and there's the form. If I preview that now, the form is above the text. And that closes it. So that, that looks a much tidier thing, isn't it? All in all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, there is more to do with panels. Um, and I'll, I'll most probably do at least another one tutorial on this. Okay, goodbye.